Hello Aquarius, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you. Oops, I did. Well, I'll just take that one because I have shuffled prior, but I'll take that one because it wants to come out. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes. I hope you're all doing well. Um, this is a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave the rest alone. And if you want clarity, you could look at your moon and rising signs. There we go. These cards are all shuffled prior as well. So, Okay, we have got the Eight of Fire. Beautiful, Eight of Wands. Events moving at a fast pace, delays are over, making things happen at once. Now, this could be good news coming in. You're going to move forward very quickly here. Now, there's a victim card here. This can be a different degrees of this for everybody. Um, you'll know what this is if that's your, the case here. And there's a lot of wisdom. You've got a lot of knowledge here. So you be wise about the choices you're making here. You've grown and you've learned a lot. You've gained a lot of wisdom. Whatever it is you've been through. Let's see what the tarot says. If this doesn't resonate with you, there's a playlist for November on my channel. You might want to look at that. There's different uh, readings on there that might resonate better. I always have a playlist going. Now, I try to have. Queen of Cups. Beautiful energy there. The Four of Cups. Beautiful Sun card. The Temperance card. Major Arcana card, that's lovely. The overall energy is the moon. Right, I get it now. The Six of Cups. The Knight of Swords. The Ten of Cups. Beautiful blessings there. And the Page of Cups. Now, the overall energy here, the reason we're getting this is if you feel you've been victimised in any shape or form by anything, anybody or any environment, what we're saying here is there's going to be good news coming in that's going to help you move forward. Now, there can be a fear factor to change here. OK, you could be in a situation and you're not seeing the way forward here. So what Spirit's saying is things are going to unfold. There's news coming in that's going to help you. And what's going to happen is this moon is going to come and turn into the sun. So clarity is coming forward. There's going to be fast moving uh, energy coming in. So things you're going to gain enlightenment here. Um, this is, I'll read it to you again because it's events moving a fa at a fast pace, delays are over and many things are happening at once. So don't be frightened to change. Things are going to move very, very quickly and it could move you on from feeling like the victim here. Now we have got the Four of Cups next to it. Now this can be boredom. It could be that you're bored and you can't see the way forward. You're fed up. You're just going through the everyday sort of challenges, humdrum things. And what can happen is we can either, can work two ways here. We can either not see our blessings because we're shut down, or we can be getting offered things that we really don't understand. So, you know, you think if there's an opportunity for love, this might not be someone. This is a friendship here that could turn into a romantic relationship. And this is not normally my type of person. Or there could be a friend coming in that isn't normally your type of friend. It's somebody who looks very different. It's not wrapped, coming in the pack as you would envisage it to come in. This person is not coming in their normal form, the way you would envisage them to come. That's what I'm trying to say. I think I've got that right. Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio energy. Not your type of person normally. Now, I'm only giving you an example. It doesn't have to be that. I'm just saying there's opportunities being presented to you and you're doubting them. Now, this could be the key to your happiness. Because Spirit is offering these blessings. So what Spirit's saying is, I don't want you to be too bored that you're not recognising the blessings that's coming. And there's no person or event comes into your life unless it's meant for you. So it might not be your idea of happiness, but Spirit's giving it and it's going to move you towards happiness. There's news coming in here that could move you towards happiness. Now, when we're looking at our blessings here and we're choosing them, we're using her intuition. She's a very intuitive queen. She's almost psychic. So tune into yourself here. Sometimes in the other day, you see her looking at the cup. Um, you don't have to feel like you're a victim of anything here. You're not a victim. It's just that things are coming in in um, a different form than you would envisage. Sometimes spirit has a different uh, idea of things for you. Now, that could be the case here. It can be that spirit's saying, please don't be that bored that you don't see your blessings. Because there's good news going to come in that's going to move you towards your happiness. It could be it turn out to be better than you think. So it's going to be there's going to be enlightenment 
because this is the good news coming in, events moving forward. This could be somebody coming forward and saying to you, telling you something here. And it's going to, you're going to gain knowledge from it. You're going to gain knowledge here. But also use your wisdom when you're making your choices. Most definitely, you've made good choices in the past here because we can see the cups. It can be an opportunity coming forward where you feel, oh God, I've dealt with this before. I'm not sure I want to be involved with that. So it's that kind of energy I'm talking about here. But news coming in, fast moving news coming in, clarity coming in, uh, communication of some sort coming in. It could be from a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. It doesn't have to be. But if you if you weigh things up here and you consider these things, be wise about it. Understand that things come in different shapes and forms. And these opportunities are meant for you. And it could help you if you use your wisdom and choose wisely. You're getting to, you'll move forward and clarity will come, come to you. So don't be frightened if things are appearing to be in a shape and form you don't recognise. And don't be so bored that you can't see these opportunities are for you because it's going to bring a lot of things to your life you didn't envisage and it's going to move you forward. This could be quite simply you moving forward. Um, it's going to, it's, it's a good moving energy as it's, it's, you recognise what your blessings are here because this is opportunities that could turn into great things. Um, it could end your challenges here. If you've been a victim, you see, because these blessings only come after a time of challenge. It's like the, the treasure at the end of the rainbow here. So if you've been feeling left out, you've been feeling victimised in any shape or form, like I say, stuck, nothing's happening, bored, or there's things going on around you that you don't understand here, you don't understand, then please look at them. Because see, see anything that's coming forward as a blessing, because there's going to be great things could come out of it for you, your family. It could create beautiful environments for you because this is about going from a victim mentality or feeling like a victim into beautiful harmony and balance coming back into your life. And I know if we're bored and we're fed up, we can feel like there's nothing going on. But spirit's always working behind the scenes to help us with our goals. So you might feel stuck, like I say, but there's beautiful things coming in. There are blessings coming forward for you and there's going to be forward movement if you take up these blessings and it's going to bring harmony back into your life. Now, there's a childlike joy attached to this. So we're moving from this boredom to this childlike joy through using our intuition here, being wise about our choices, understanding that these are blessings and no one and nothing is presented to us unless it's like there's nothing for you that doesn't, what's for you doesn't miss you. It's that type of energy I'm feeling here. Now, this brings joy or harmony into your life. Now, this could also be somebody from your past coming back as well that you've got fond memories of. So connecting up with family members you might have seen, friends that come back. Uh, you might have had a young, a young love from a previous life and they're coming back and you didn't envisage it and you're like, what the heck? You know, but this could be an opportunity for happiness in your life and you could have a wonderful family life because this is, it could be somebody that's younger than you as well. But it could be somebody from your younger days. So this could also be somebody from a previous life that sometimes say comes into your life to help you. So they might help you move forward and gain the clarity you need here and support you to go forward because there's a lot of sunshine to come in the future. So please see things as a blessing. I know they might not always come, uh, Aquarius, in the shape and form that you envisage, you know, uh, but spirit has its own ideas. Are let go of expectations here, most definitely, because the planets are going to align and there's going to be a lot of happiness in the future. So things are moving on. I know you might feel bored at the moment, but they're definitely going to move on and they're going to move on in a really, really good way. So you've got to recognise your blessings and be prepared uh, to consider them. And things will move forward quite quickly. There's meditate. Reconnect with your inner spirit. Walk, practice yoga, meditate or listen to music. Do something that relaxes you, makes you feel good. So what spirit's saying, whatever makes you feel good here. Abundance. Great news is heading your way. Absolutely. Abundance is coming to you in many forms. Absolutely. So I know you might be bored, but hang on in there. <laughs> I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.